Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous runneth into it, and is safe. Dear Father Lord, I come unto you in the glorious name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My strong and mighty tower. The place of my safety. My secret place. The so highly exalted. The name above every other name. The name that with its mention, every knee bows and every tongue confess that Jesus is the Lord. Lord, I come unto you, in the strength, might, and powers of this name. For the scripture promises in the book of John chapter 14 verse 14. That if we ask anything in your name, you will do it. Dear Lord, I come unto you this night, with faith in your word and in the power of your name. Lord, to start with, I want to thank you first and foremost, for your love, goodness, grace, and kindness. For when we thank you for the ones you have done, we qualify for more. For the scripture speaking in the courteous entrances into your presence says, in Psalms 100 verse 4, that we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving, and into your courts with praise. We should be thankful unto you, and bless your name. Father Lord, I come with thanksgiving. For you are deserving of my thanks and praises. In fact, I cannot even thank you enough or praise you enough. What and which one do I start with? Is it the salvation of my soul, your deliverances, or your divine guidance? Where can I even start? But in all, Lord, I say, thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your deliverances and the diverse battles that you have been fighting for me all the time. Those that I know and those that I didn't know about. Thank you, Lord, for your deliverance from both the known and unknown dangers. You carried me past through the valleys of the shadows of death, without even allowing me to know it. Thank you dear Lord for your sweet deliverances, from accidents and other mishaps. Like your word says in Lamentations 3 verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. Lord indeed, it is of your grace and in keeping to your faithful promises, that we are not consumed. For if not for your grace, mercies, and loving kindness, the enemies would have eaten us raw. Just as the psalmist says, in the book of Psalms 124 verses 2 to 8. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick, when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters had overwhelmed us, the stream had gone over our soul. Then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Blessed be the Lord, who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers, the snare is broken, and we are escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. In you O Lord I will keep trusting, my confidence in you shall have no bounds. With you Lord on my side I fear no man. Like David, I can now say. In God have I put my trust, I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. For Lord, you are able, abundantly able to deliver and to save those whose trust is in you. For Lord, you are ever faithful in your promises and your promises are trustworthy. Like the psalmist says, because of your unfailing are ever faithful promises. In Psalms 23 verse 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. The same I say, dear Lord. Because I have no way of knowing all the traps, that the enemies might have set for me, but in your promises are my trust, both for protection and deliverances. Psalm 61 verse 3 says, For thou hast been a shelter for me, and a strong tower from the enemy. Dear Holy Lord, the hour has now come for me to retire to my bed, where I will lay and not be conscious of the happenings around me. My only hope and faith in waking up is you and you alone. Though Lord I know, that sleep and true night rest only come from you. As the Bible says in Psalms 127 verse 2, It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows. For so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lord, surely it is you that give sleep to your beloved. 
Therefore dear Lord I ask for a truly restful night's rest and sound sleep. Watch over my soul dear Lord, according to your faithful promises. For your word says Lord in Psalms 121 verse 4. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Dear Lord, I know that why you don't sleep nor slumber is to keep watch over Israel. So that Israel can sleep and even slumber. Dear Father Lord, remember, by the virtue of redemption through faith, I am now a true Israel. Therefore, dear Lord, keep watch over my soul, spirit, and body. To deliver me them from corruption and iniquities. Lord protect and watch over every member of my household. Sanctify our spirit, soul, and body. So that the devil, the accuser of the brethren, will have no grounds to protest against your blessings in us. Like David, Lord I pray as recorded in the book of Psalms 51 verses 1 to 19. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness. According unto the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgressions. Wash me truly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, the only, have I sinned, and done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest, and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. And in the hidden part thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean, wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins, and blot out all mine iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. And my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. For thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it, thou delightest not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart, O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy good pleasure unto Zion, build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Now Lord I ask, help me never to return to any form of sins, and unrighteousness again. Create in me a new heart, that will be panting after your word day and night, like David in Psalms 42 verse 1. As the heart panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my soul after thee, O God. As I study your word, Lord, let it not be just the study of the letters but Father, let your words always enter me. For your word says, that is the entrance of the word that gives light. Cause your word to always enter me when I study it. Let it always speak to me plainly. Let it no longer be a coded book to me. Let the Holy Spirit always be by me as I study, to give me the right interpretation of your every word in it. To lighten up my soul and spirit, thereby purging me of every unchastity, impurities, and tendency to sin. Baptize me a fresh father with passion and zeal for kingdom work. Ignite in me fresh fire for prayers, intercession, and supplication. Lord I need a fresh encounter, that will transform my love, zeal, and knowledge of you. Help me to always commune with you even in my sleep. These I pray and ask for dear Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in our prayer. For more prayers, click on the link button you will see below this video to subscribe to our YouTube channel Winning Secret TV. To not miss out on other exciting prayers that we post practically every week. God bless you.